So I want to show you a program that I've been using for years, this photo filter. I've been using this for probably uh, 10 years or so. I'm going to put this link that you'll see right here. I'm going to put that in the notes below the video so you'll be able to click on that and go download this program. When you click on it to download, this top link here is the one I use. It's pretty self-explanatory. This program is not available for Mac. It's only available for Windows. And I'm currently using it on this machine on Windows 7, but I loaded it just a while ago into the machine with Windows 10 to verify that it would work, and it does. Uh, the other great thing about this is this doesn't take a lot of power to run, so you don't need a high-powered computer. Uh, you don't need a you know giant graphics card or a bunch of stuff like that. So I've talked enough. Let's get right into doing one of the images. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get into here. Now we're in the program, and I'm going to go to File, and uh, I want to open one up that's on my desktop. This is a negative. I want to pull that negative in. You can see right there this is a negative from a Canon 6D. And uh, the first thing that we probably want to show you is up here there's some buttons that you'll see where my mouse is up top on that top uh, menu bar. There's a plus and minus for uh, zoom in, zoom out. And there's also a numerical indicator here. You can click on and pick the zoom size you want if you want to zoom in even more or more quickly. And now the next thing we're going to do, what we're really interested in, is turning this uh, negative into a positive. So we're going to go to adjust right here. We're going to slide all the way down and come to negative. And we're going to hit negative. Now we have turned our negative into a positive. And it's just that easy. And then we would just go up here to file and uh, save as, and we would save that picture. And then we would have saved a positive of our picture. If we needed to work on this picture some, we can do it. Let's go to the lower menu bar here. That's where the controls for editing are mostly at. And we'll see here that we have a brightness. See that? Down and up and down. Then we have a contrast. One, two. One, two. I'll turn it back to where it was. Then we have the gamma. And I'm just going two clicks down, two clicks back. People can set that as they want to. You can desaturate or put it back. You know, color saturation as you need to. Uh, you've got some settings here for auto contrast and <clears throat> auto levels. So those things are good, uh, but some people prefer to come right up here to adjust, and they can get shadows and highlights, and then you, you have more uh, you have a lot more control than just clicking the buttons up and down. And uh, another thing you can do here is you can change the white balance. You know, if you shot it in a different kind of light and you didn't like that, maybe it'll change that white balance and help your negative some. Uh, you can turn it into a duo tone. I'm just going to do that and show you what it looks like. It kind of looks like a charcoal drawing or something. I'm going to go edit, undo, and get out of that. Now, if you want to crop it, we talked on this just a bit ago, so I'll go right back here. I'm going to crop a part of it, and I'm just going to pull this down, and I'll pull this little crop box around, and I'll just imagine uh, kind of what I want there. Let's say that, that I want that much of it. Then I would right-click inside the box here and hit, uh, I want to hit crop, and uh, crop image. And now I've got this, so I can crop the image that way, and I can go edit, I can go undo crop if I didn't like that. And I want to go back here and shrink it back down a little bit. I'm like, you know, there's a, just a whole lot of good features this thing's got, and it is a free program. And I hope this helps some people that uh, maybe using the scanner video that I put up the other day that shows you how to uh, scan your negative, get it into that iPhone, and then get it into your computer, well, now this is going to give you a free way to turn that negative into a positive without you having to go buy a Photoshop or Lightroom. Let's say you've got some pictures right out of your camera, and maybe they need a little bit of adjustment on the light level or the color balance, or you want to crop them. This program can be a great way to do that without spending any money, and I suggest you just download it, give it a try, put you a couple of pictures in there and play with it. It doesn't cost anything, so... You have nothing to lose by giving it a shot and seeing if it'll help you turn out some better pictures or turn your negatives into a positive. Well, that concludes this video. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.